Well, hello everyone. So I'm actually so tired that uh, I'm having a hard time holding up my phone. Um, but I just did something in like two hours. I'm still not done, but I did something in like two hours that I don't think most people could ever do, especially not by themselves. But I just put in all these windows and it keeps going round and round and round and round. But these are uh, four foot by six foot windows. Uh, they're not screwed in nothing. They're just floating there right now But what I did is I took some wood blocks and just nailed up where they got to go kind of sorta and then I just took some Screws right there and they're literally just you know kind of hanging in there until I have a chance to go inside and screw them all in but um, This is a job uh, That I was working on I'll tell you guys about the back porch But there's some other things I want to say here, but yeah this is i'm still walking here trying to get around but that's all of them and like i said they're not squared they're not you know they're not screwed in they're just literally thrown in the opening and that's what i'm about to do i'm spending the next hour or so just getting them all locked down and shimmed up and making sure they're square and open and closed properly and i got a, a custom door that i got going there and then a glass transom whoops i pointed the wrong side a glass transom right there then a door with another uh, dog door in it I've done a lot of work. I've done the back door over there. I did that door. I did that door did the front door and then I'm uh, right here I'm going to be She has this little screen door set up and what I'm gonna do is put uh, Take that well I take the whole thing out and I'm putting a door here with the side light and then the side light open So this whole thing would be open um, so and then I'm gonna kind of just clean up that door there. It's original. I don't. It has a steel frame. I don't even want to try to take that sucker out. But yeah, I've been here for about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, so, and then uh, it took me a little bit just to get everything set up and figure out which window goes where. And what's crazy is it, it didn't go right the first time. So this is my list. And as you can tell, there's a lot of uh, changes and. You know, I was like, well, that window needs to go here and there, and so. But I did want to, now that I've shown you what I did today and uh, told you what I'm going to be doing, I kind of want to talk about something very serious because I got in a little conversation with the uh, the homeowner, and me and her do not agree uh, politically, but we love to have little conversations and you know talk about different things. Um, I like to be kind of middle of the road, but I do lean heavily on the conservative aspect of life. And she leans more on the more liberal side of life. And we have very spirited discussions. And, you know, so far she hasn't kicked me out of the house. And, you know, I'm still doing work for her. So uh, I don't think we've heard, it, heard each other's feelings too much. But I was telling her about some things and everything else. And she was like, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. I can't hear no more bad news. And I and I. You know, she kind of said something that I freaked me out a little bit. And I'm like, listen, you know, with all this bad news, with the world going crazy, everything else, the only thing that you can do is enjoy your life. I was like, that's one thing that I have done is I have give up caring what people think about me or of me or anything else. And the one thing that I've noticed, especially after the month of mayhem, most people are too scared to say something to me. So if they want to talk behind my back, that's fine. That's behind my back. You know, if someone wants to step to me, then I'll deal with it then. But, you know, if you're if you're stressed out, if you're dealing with, uh, you know, little things that are just aggravating, just stop. I mean, literally, just stop. I'm not saying don't care, you know, um, in its entirety. I mean, I still care. I still strive to be the best person I can be. But at the end of the day, who gives a shit? We're all dying. We're all going to, you know, end up worm food or some ashes thrown at sea or in Disney World. You know, nobody escapes that. So to sit here and live a life of worry, of stress, I've done it for the better part of my life. And I will not do it no more. You know, I do whatever the hell I want to do. Now, financially, don't go out and blow your life savings because you want to have fun. I'm talking about just enjoy your life. Um, if you're struggling with debt, then quit buying shit. 
You know, get out of debt. Sell the shit you have and pay off your bills or whatever and start over. Lord knows, the past two years, that's the one thing I've been telling y'all. You know, is it's okay to start over. I'm almost 50 and I'm starting over a whole brand new life. So, but yeah, she's, uh, she mentioned, you know, how she wasn't liking the, the stress of the, the new normal. And, you know, it's, it's, it's how you look at the world is how you perceive the world. You know, if you look at the world as doom and gloom, which I do, I mean, I know for a fact that this, this world, you know, whether you believe in Jesus or what, there's some shit that's about to happen. You know, I mean, it's, it's everywhere you look, you see signs of, you know, just absolute craziness. But that doesn't make me depressed. That doesn't make me sad. That just shows me I got to have as much fun as I can while I can. And I'm blessed by not having an expensive lifestyle. So for me, you know, I don't, I don't really uh, go out and just blow money for no reason. I mean, me, for me, like a big thing is going out and spending thirty dollars at Salvation Army, buying some, you know, fruity clothes. Hey, puppy. Oh, these are one of them things that I like, but I don't think I'd ever want to own. Nope. But this is a. This is one of them hellion dogs. It looks all nice and gentle right now, but this is an escape artist. He's done dug so many holes under the fence and got lost for a few days. And now he's just soaking up this uh, this nice cold day we're having. So, anyways, I'm letting my arms kind of rejuvenate, picking up all these windows and throwing them up in these openings. You know, we just here. I mean, just the windows are up there a little bit. I mean, it's, this is this is me reaching up as far as I can, you know. So, but yeah, and um, you know, when you're working by yourself, uh, you know, you have to get a little creative. So, like I said, I nailed up some little blocks, and uh, they're not even really touching, but they're just enough. And then I'm gonna screw them in and get them all up, and then go down the sides, and then I knock the blocks out, frame up the bottoms, and I'll be done. I'm probably going to do all the framing up tomorrow, though. What are you doing? Why? This is a nice dog. She has two dogs. The other one's nicer. So. Anyways, I'm going back to work. Peace, love, money. I'm out.